watching Captain uh, eat his, eat his food in the background. He's still eating? No, he's thinking it's done. I think he's, he's fi he, I think he's finished. He's finished. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he had to get that food. Okay. Again. I will explain to you later. I have to come <laughs> okay, okay. So we got uh, Falco against Kalutena. Both uh, people who definitely prefer the air, of course, but let's see if they can hold their ground as well. Well, for Elden Crow, he will be looking for those moves that will get Kalutena in the air, get those juggles. That is something that he loves getting in those combos, but for now, Naomi doing a great job coming back, even though he wasn't a pretty bad spot using his jump onto the side. Kalutena is also a character that we've seen less and less and less because she, over the life core of the lifespan of Ultimate, she got quite a few heavy nerves, but it's still nice to see that some people are sticking with her. And Showing the world that she is still boss of Well, she we is. might see Kimbo later as well. Yeah. And Kimbo's pal tonight was such feet to see as we've just seen a true of Okami here. Rocking the Ghetto Sun attack. Painful to see. <laughs> what's, the, what's the story behind I'll Ghetto? I'll tell you the lore later. It's too <laughs> painful for now. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's keep the vibe uh, positive but cheerful. Tried to catch that backer right there, but really nice oh, spotted by Kamomi, yeah. but he gets the side B into the backer. Really nice to by yeah. We've seen that quite a lot today, where people use like these long-lasting moves at the ledge, but there's always some counterplay to it. With Byron, we saw how they did the side B to go to yeah. Steve's down smash, and now we're kind of seeing how Elden Pro is delaying his recovery to not just directly uh, go into Kamatena's up smash, which has a huge and lasting hitbox. And if you're not awaiting those moves, you can get punished pretty quickly. Yeah, but they are aware. They are definitely yeah. smart. Not as smart as us because they don't know what uh, Camille is. But uh, of course, still very good stuff. But now we're seeing the famous Nair trains racking up the percentage. Not overextending, really nice. Still at the ledge, but the chap is not going to do much. He gets that down, so it won't go up in the air. And he's staying patient right now, using those blasters. Oh, didn't fall through after that side B. Now in the driver's seat, I will he respond? He lets Elden Crow come back to the stage. Ooh, forward air oh, so okay. much stronger than it looks. It's crazy that our kids are 130 already, but nice stuff. And now Elden Crow is keeping the pressure up with his sick combos. We love to see that from Falco. He has been getting those early combos pretty nicely. After he has. A little bit of delay to convert Ooh. through it, and he gets the downer, it won't Almost. be enough for now. But he is looking Already. for the saucy move and get <laughs> yeah, the side yeah. B into the downer tried again it with just whiffs. Oh, that being was really Being in is a mindset and I'm just wall jumping, <laughs> being right back there in the action. That was really confident, coming back with the upper when you see someone charging a smash attack. Yeah. Really nicely done. You know, Falco is a bit of a, like a, a cocky, arrogant character, so you have to play like that as well. And he gets the up smash win. too. That's really out nice. The game. Yes. I think Crow? Really, really impressive. Takes this first game with two stars. And even if there were some moments that he didn't get everything that he wanted, he confirmed on other moves. And when he was off stage, I never felt that he was in a bad position. Yeah, he, stage, yeah he evaded. He evaded. I don't know. It's kind of hard with like a recovery like Falcos to play against Polytenus down tilt, Polytenus up smash. Yeah. But it was really nicely done. We didn't see any cheese. Um, speaking of cheese and burgers, my fry is still laying on the ground, just chilling. Those are for later. But we're getting in yeah, the, the rat, treat. the rats here can uh, feast upon <laughs> them later, maybe. The rats. <laughs> if you had, okay, I'll give you the lore on Ghetto Sama. Yeah, okay, okay. It's from uh, Jutsu Kaisen. Okay, okay. Uh, I uh, be careful with spoilers. I know Not that's why I didn't say what. <laughs> I'm just saying it's a character from there. And Okay. That's all you'll know. I, I, I know I know some stuff about Jujutsu Kaisen, okay. like how how the last few episodes went, so I can uh, imagine okay. what what happened. <laughs> but okay. Yeah, so that's related to that. Okay. This is a quite an interesting stage because the platforms definitely help to keep your compos alive to extend them a little bit further. I'm not sure whose favor it is. I feel like Falco yeah, a little bit, and it was chosen by Camille, so I feel like he's still confident in the, in the pick if he chooses it. But it, we know that Falco loves this stage and he can use those platforms really to his advantage. But for now, it has been working wonders for Camille. Yes, uh, Elden Crow is really uh, approaching very aggressively with these side piece and 
Kumpins, but uh, yeah. Well, Kamomi is uh, evading them. Really good at the moment. Well, he has that pretty really nicely. When he sees the distance and feels like Quo is gonna use that, uh, that side B, he uses his own. He was able to counter it already twice. Just jumping above it as well. And just again, just evading it pretty nicely. It gets caught with that up tilt. To the back here. <laughs> That's a really smart idea to use the counter there. And again, he recovers straight into Camomile's face. He's not here, he is confident that he will not get hit by that up smash. Yeah, that side B was getting a little bit predictable. We've yeah, seen I just wanted to, I wanted to say, I, I, I was kind of feeling that there would be some kind of weird interaction with it as for now because We've seen Kamomi getting hit by it less and less, also at the corner or when Falco is off stage. Maybe he's ready now. And you have to be careful because first game, Pro, that was a little bit of a major move for him on that first game and he was able to close up a few stocks. missing that down there. So if he, doesn't, if he doesn't find a way to use his moves, that is so oh, really nicely done right there. Reading the roll, gets the up tilt into the upper, won't fall through. <laughs> what the the, these interactions are pretty <laughs> hard. <laughs> Explosive flame. It still gets the down air. And for now, Linko into the driver's seat, but we still feel like Nolio has something to say, and you can see it right there. Explosive flame. Hedges to fight you with the up air. Calling out the high recovery. One thing we haven't seen from Elden Crowd too much, but Naomi is definitely ready for it. And now he's on this last stock for this set, potentially. Uh, you get caught by that up uh, tilt onto a platform, you are in a pretty dire position. It and could also be pretty scary, but fortunately the Nair... What a, a nice try to call out slightly, but a bit too late. I feel like the up smash hasn't been doing it too much onto the left. No, right I don't, I don't think it's worked the out a single time so far. This is scary. Oh, oh but the up taking <laughs> it. He okay, has got okay. another percent for now, and we can see that every time that he is on that platform, he has been pretty confident onto it, and that's why we were talking about the stage pick at the beginning. He gets it out, so it's the back here. Won't be enough for now. Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the to yourself, man. <laughs> little disrespect there. Won't do too much, but still letting him know that he can just swing it recklessly. This is looking like a huge conversion. Really oh. nicely done. Gets the control back onto the stage right there because Kalonil was taking a little bit of control with down tilt. Any hit is getting really, really scary now. That back. Where there will put him in a bad position. Elvin Crow goes for it even though he's on his last stock. You oh, never yeah, know what yeah, can happen yeah. in those positions as Falco. Really nice call out onto that side B. Doesn't fall through onto the upper. Let's a little bit space. He is patient. Will poke a little bit around. Yeah. He's playing really like he should, playing defensive, just walling him out. This is, could be huge. The up smash hasn't worked out so far and still won't do it. This time, oh, almost reading that evasive. And for now, kind of like racking up those percentages and coming back into the game. Yeah, and he read it really again, nice. Basically, that side being looking exactly really nice. I think do. if he gets the right hit, he could definitely make the comeback. Oh, oh, too bad the missed thing. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> won't be enough, but he is in a bad position. He used his jump. The air dodge oh, won't be enough. Almost grabbing it. That position you do no. not want to be in. And the near disconnects and he gets. No, no, no. Oh my god. And again, oh he my god. Talk. So nicely done. What a comeback Damn. from Camille that game. And we saw he yeah, he was, so, that game, he was so patient. Every hit had his purpose, not overextending a bit. Really, really, really nicely done. And you know, the neutral B, we never saw it in the first game. Yeah. This time he used it a little bit onto that last talk, gave him a little bit of space. Maybe let him get his nerves a little bit down as well because yeah. it gives you a little that bit was, of space against that, that, nice. that was really, really nicely done. I'm impressed, damn. No, and the adaptation around the side B is really doing wonders right now. Because yeah. he got that convert when he tried to wall jump and come back with the side B and got punished instantly. And after he wasn't really yeah. the, uh, we, we also just saw, like, every, as I said before, every single hit was really well placed. The back airs keeping them out. Falco can really punish that. We saw the Nair on the platform that got punished by. I don't know. Honestly, I'm quite surprised that uh, that Elden Crow used uh, down throw there in the uh, at, at the platform because I thought the up throw would maybe kill, but I don't know. Laser is sometimes a bit inconsistent. I'm not quite sure. But yeah. yeah. Well, this set is cooking. I am really pleased with this set. I wasn't too sure, to be fair. Yeah.
can be wondering, pretty close I'm wondering one way or the if other. the up smash will work now or if uh, come on, we will do something else at the ledge and try to switch it up a bit because his up smash has not been working out and I think if uh, if Kamomi fi finds another answer that will work out this will definitely be a way more oppressive set for him. I feel like Kamomi was... did he come back I think? Because I think he was... yeah, yeah he came yeah, back. Yeah. He, and he, he, he is he pretty clutch. He, he got his out. nerves pretty nicely. And for now, Adam Pro getting that down air right there, racking up already 80%. He has to find a little bit of a seating into this game and gets grabbed into the up air. He won't follow through. That air dodge. He just get back onto the ledge, take a little bit of time, get his footing onto the stage. It's really nice evading up that side B, but it won't be enough because he catches it. That should. No, no. Okay, okay. Yeah, he works I, I can never predict what Falco's fair will do. With. That move is a uh, mystery to me. Yeah, it did he even yeah, put this I don't know, it's the mystery to me. Oh. Just the right timing. Tried to call out that down smash. And nicely done, nicely evaded and falls through with the grab. Ooh, that was yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was that was not the, that was not the right call. Well, you might think if you get if you do get that hit, you get the stop, so Again, that up smash, I'm really not too convinced by it. The down tilt might be a little bit of a better use of your own ground there. Maybe try to switch it up a little bit. But no mix-up is I'm a mix-up at one time as well. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> oh, the air dodge. No, no, no. That's a heartbreaker. Yeah, especially oh. after the game we just saw as being like that. That's so unfortunate, man. Oh, yeah. That's going to be rough to recover from. But how he had to stay hurt. strong, not let it affect him. He's still in the game. He has shown us how much of a comeback he can make, so we're counting on him and his good approaches. But for now, Crow is still in the driver's seat. He's getting all those percentages up and he hasn't even lost the stock. The situation's pretty dire, but those hubbies haven't been connecting. Ooh, Ooh that was... <laughs> what a risky... Oh, there's last stop going for that... Uh, that, that yeah, cat. he's not scared. <laughs> he's still confident in the driver's seat. He feels like he can do it, but... This is getting really rough. This is getting really rough. I'm, I'm sweating here. <laughs> yeah, the backer will take that first off, it is but I rough. Like We're really feeling the emotions back, yeah. behind those players. Kaomi is in the gaming position. He's really ready to yeah. show us what he can do. You're in such a bad spot against Falco at 112. If you get on one of those platforms, you are mostly doomed. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a situation where you want to be. In. Most barely evades it. He's still holding on to that last. No, game. that's it. The side B. Uh, I thought, I thought that's match. a bit too laggy on the platform. That's so unfortunate, but really good and stuff. That Fernandena was really nice, especially the second game impressed us a lot. Fortunate that SD will take a toll on your stock, but also on your mental. It definitely and hits. It, it definitely it hits. hits yeah. Because it's your first talk. You just you lost your first talk just before that, so you had. Oh, I don't even know if he had a lot of percentages uh, on his stock. But yeah, but I, I, I also think, I also think, Elden Crow is really aggressive in the last stock. He maybe noticed that Kamami is kind of wants to take his time to kind of reflect about the kill, kind of get back into the game, and he didn't give him that time. He just pressed on and said, "Now nah, you got to deal with it while I'm in your face." So.